Hi, and welcome back to Fishing with David Pyle. Hi, I'm Tony Ocean with Tony O Guided Adventure. And today we're out on the Willamette River, July 21st, 2024. We had a great day of fishing as usual. We went one for two. Tony got his fish, I lost mine. Um, <laughs> he did a great job. So um, I just want to say that I have guided trips available still at Buoy 10 and Tony this, just the same. So, um, you know, look us up. I'm going to give Tony the mic here for a minute. And he'll talk a little bit about his business. And uh, go ahead, Tony. Uh, Tony Ocean with Tony O Guided Adventure. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Tony O Guided Adventure or Tony O Adventure, Tony O Guided Adventure dot com. Uh, I have some very choice dates uh, at the end of August, which are really good. A lot of coho, a lot of Chinook. Uh, hope to see you out there. Great, Tony. It was fantastic fishing with you as usual. Yep, thank you for having me. And uh, stay tuned, watch the video, and we'll see you next time on Fishing with David Pyle. All right, Tony, let's see that giant fish you caught today. Yeah, it's nice. a monster, huh? Nice job. Good All job. 25 inches. Yeah, we're going to fillet this thing out. So um, Tony's going to give us a quick demonstration on how he fillets. Yeah, nice. So the thing with this is, is how much we can save and how much we discard. So let's go. First thing, right under here. Take that up. Right there. That's a piece right there that can be smoked, so this gets saved, okay? Come around this side. Nice mail. Cut up there, take this fin off here. I have a client that says you could uh, bake these, taste like chicharrones. Don't know what she means, but I'll go with that. We got to cut up the middle. We're going to take the head because the head is what you're going to keep as well. You can put that on your on your barbecue. You can take the meat off after you, in each side. There you go. And you got cheek meat here. You got that collar meat there. Just clean it up. Barbecue it on one side. Turn it over. Barbecue on the other. So there's more. All saved. Good meat. We're going to discard this part right in here. Nice mail. I've got a smaller knife in there as well. Okay. Smaller fillet if you need it. For the finer details. Yep. So you see the backbone right there? Take your knife, go right in on that. Here are those bones. Take her to the end. Look how gorgeous. Really nice, bright meat. Right here the other side. Be safe. Get on the other side, there you go. There's the other side. Now this is gonna be, you can take, you take a spoon, take this food off, or you can simply bread it, go ahead and fry it. So now, I'm going to discard 
just the tail backbones go into that bag this here we'll take the other knife right under the gunnel black knife where's she at you're right there by the clippers oh they're black nut it disappeared Sorry. there you go we'll go in here that's always my favorite section it's a little precarious getting under those bones but take your time yeah stay you... up right on top see how we just go right there stay high they come off nice it's just trying to preserve as much meat as you can and keeping that knife knife up tight to the bones if you can see it in this video you can see the knife blade coming right under the bones little hole right there so you put your finger take cut across when you're ready for your bag it's ready to go and check out the meat beautiful all right tony thank you sir did a great job thank you guys